This is Shravanti, Assistant Professor, Department of Chemistry, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering. Today we are going to discuss about the topic is Estimation of Hardness of Water by Complexometric Method or EDTA Method. What is hard water? How can we estimate this hardness by EDTA Method? So in this class we are going to learn about this what is hardness. Hardness means which chance present in this hot water. Calcium, magnesium ions of bicarbonates, chlorides, sulfides present in water. So, this water is considered as hard water. So, hard water means it is present calcium, magnesium ions of the bicarbonates, chlorides, sulfates, etc. present in water, that water is considered as hard water. So, when we treat it with soap, it does not produce lather because of presence of all these ions in this water. So, how can we estimate this hardness or hardness causing ions? How much percentage of uh, these ions present in this water? What is the hardness of this water? It can be estimated by using EDTA. So, here EDTA used as a, it is acts as a strong complexing agent. That's why this method is also called as complexometric method. So see here, so hardness of water, it can be determined by using EDTA method. This method is also called as complexometric titration. Here EDTA acts as a strong complexing agent. That means it forms complexes with hardness causing ions which are present in this water like calcium, magnesium combinations, bicarbonates, chlorides, sulfates, etc. So, then when we are added EDTA in this water, it forms complexes with hardness causing ions. That's, that's why this method is called complexometric method or EDTA method. Here EDTA is also called as complexing agent because it forms complexes with hardness causing ions. So, and it is EDTA is a not very soluble, it is less soluble in water. And this is the structure of EDTA. Abbreviation of EDTA is ethylene diamine tetraestic acid. Ethylene diamine tetraestic acid. You see the structure ethylene diamine 2 in H2 groups and 4 estic acid groups. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, ethylene diamine tetraestic acid is called EDTA. It is also called as complexing agent. It forms complexes with hardness causing ions. That is why this EDTA is called as complexing agent. And this method also called as complexometric method or EDTA method. Now, let's discuss what is the principle involved in this determination of hardness of water by EDTA method. So, in this case, first the determination of hard water is or the determination of hardness is carried out by titrating the water sample with EDTA given water sample. So, it is mainly used for determination of hardness by using EDTA. So, in this case, what is the principle involved in this EDTA method? The determination of hardness is, can be carried out by using uh, the water sample titrated with EDTA, ethylene diamine tetraestic acid. And in this case, we are using indicator is aerochrome black tea, EBT, aerochrome black tea indicator and also we are using here buffer here ammonium chloride and ammonium hydroxide combination of buffer we are using here because it's maintaining ph range is 8 to 10 so why are maintaining only this much uh, ph range 8 to 10 because at this ph range only edta forms complexing with hardness causing ions so that's why we are adding here uh, in this hot water we are adding indicator and buffer solution and titrated against EDTA, titrated with EDTA. So, in this case, first in hard water, it is present hardness causing ions like calcium, magnesium uh, combinations like uh, calcium, magnesium, bicarbonates, chlorides, sulfates, etc. So, if in case in this hard water, it is present calcium, magnesium ions. So, first we are adding EBT indicator, aerochrome black tea indicator. So, when we are adding indicator in this uh, hard water, it forms complexes calcium EBT or magnesium EBT complexes form. It is highly unstable. So, what is the color of the solution here? Wine red color. The color of the solution is 
wine red color this is the color wine red color so for starting hard water to which water we can determine the hardness of water so that water treated with indicator ebt indicator so in this case it forms starting calcium ebt or magnesium ebt unstable complexes form and the color of the solution is wine red color and next when titrate again is this uh, solution from this burette or uh, edta solution so when titrate this calcium ebt or magnesium ebt complex or solution titrated with edta solution from the burette in this experiment so in this case it forms calcium edta or magnesium edta stable complexes form calcium edta or magnesium edta stable complexes form and the color of the solution is blue color that blue color indicates free indicator ebt indicator this is the principle involved in this edta method starting first hard water treated with ebt indicator it forms calcium ebt or magnesium ebt unstable complexes form and the color of the solution is wine red so this solution is titrated against edta so in this case it forms calcium edta or magnesium edta stable complexes form and the color of the solution is blue color so wine red color changes to blue color the blue color indicates free indicator see here yes, clear diagram given here red color this is a sample metal ion for example and here ebt indicator so when we are adding ebt indicator in this hot water that means hot water containing sample metal ions means calcium magnesium ions so when we are adding indicator it forms metal indicator v complex metal indicator v complex is formed and the color of the solution is wine red when titrated against edta titrated with edta so in this case it form metal edta stable complex is formed it is the colorless but the color shows wine red to blue that blue color indicates here free ebt indicator still blue color so this is the principle involved in this edta method So, what are the chemicals used in this process? Determination of hardness by using EDTA method. So, which chemicals required? Here, first one is EDTA. So, ethylene, diamine, tetra, acetic acid, and second one is aerochrome black tea, EBT. It is used as a indicator. And next, ammonical buffer. This buffer is mainly used for to maintain pH range. in this method already we discussed just now uh, we are maintaining ph range is 8 to 10 so that purpose only we are using this ammonium chloride and ammonium hydroxide buffer because it this buffer only maintain stable ph range 8 to 10 so at this range only edta forms complex with hardness causing ions and next one is the more edta complex is disodium salts of ethylene diamine tetra acetic acid simple it is required mainly edta aerochrome black tea indicator and buffer solution and hot water these are the main required chemicals used in this uh, edta method for determination of hardness of water so how can we prepare this chemicals which are required for the edta method so that uh, preparation of chemicals this purpose we are using some chemical apparatus sir here this is the burette this is the burette stand and here this is the pipette and dropper cork rubber cork this is a dropper and this one is the weighing machine this is a volumetric flask this is available in different different sizes see this image r250 uh, ml 100 ml 1000 ml 500 ml etc this is also called as volumetric flask or standard flask this flask is mainly used for preparation of standard solution standard solution means known concentration of solution already we know the molarity of the solution okay so that is called standard solution for example if you are preparing 0.1 normality of naoh so already we know the molarity of uh, the naoh solution 0.1 so that 0.1 standard solution we are preparing in this standard volumetric flask and this is the measuring jar used for measuring solutions and this is a conical flask and beaker and this is the funnel so these are the apparatus general used for preparation of chemicals so in the cdta method we are using generally chemicals are 
hard water, EDTA method, buffer solution and indicator. So how can you prepare this EDTA solution? First 4 grams of EDTA powder weigh out by using this weighing machine. Weigh out 4 grams of EDTA powder dissolved in 1000 ml of distilled water. Dissolved in 1000 ml of distilled water. That means 4 grams of EDTA powder weighing by using this weighing machine. They will be transferred into this 1000 ml standard volumetric flask and add 1000 ml distilled water. So 4 grams of EDTA powder dissolved in 1000 ml of distilled water. This is the preparation of EDTA solution. But how can you prepare the standard hard water? Generally hard water means it's containing calcium and magnesium ions present in it. So standard hard water means exact values we will get that purpose. We are preparing standard hard water also because uh, in this case 1 gram of pure CaCO3 calcium carbide 1 gram weigh out by using weighing machine and add few drops of HCl dissolving 1000 ml of distilled water. This is the preparation of hard water, standard hard water. And next third one is EBT indicator, aerochrome black tea indicator. So here 0 0.5 grams of EBT powder dissolved in 100 ml of alcohol. 0 0.5 grams of EBT powder dissolved in 100 ml of alcohol. It is used as an indicator. And last one is buffer solution. So here 67.5 grams of ammonium chloride, 67.5 grams of ammonium chloride and 570 ml of ammonia dissolved in 1000 ml of distilled water. This is a preparation of buffer solution. So what purpose we are using buffer to maintain stable pH. So in this method we are maintaining pH ranges 8 to 10. So that purpose we are using this ammonium chloride and ammonium hydroxide buffer. So these are the preparation of chemicals which are used in this EDTA method. The next procedure. So determination of hardness by using this uh, by complexometric method or EDTA method. So determination of hardness in this case it is involved total 3 steps. So step 1 is standardization of EDTA solution standardization of EDTA solution. That means we do not know the molarity of EDTA. So it can be find out by using standard solution. Standard solution means known concentration of solution. Known concentration of solution is called standard solution. So by using that standard solution we have to calculate the unknown concentration of EDTA solution. So first step is standardization of EDTA solution. So here what is the meaning? We do not know the molarity of EDTA. So we can find out by using known concentration of the solution. So here in this step known concentration of standard solution is hard water. Already we know the molarity of that hard water its value is 0 0.01 m. So already we know the molarity of that hard water. So in this step standard solution is the hard water. So by using this solution we have to calculate the unknown concentration of EDTA, the standardization of EDTA by using hard water. So what is the procedure involved in this? So here burette fill, filled with EDTA solution, burette filled with EDTA solution. Already we know that how can we prepare EDTA? 4 grams of EDTA powder dissolved in 1000 ml of distilled water. So that EDTA solution 50 ml we have to fill in this burette. And next the conical flask, what are taking? Given hot water sample, the standard hot water. How much ml? 20 ml hot water sample. 20 ml hot water sample and 2 to 3 drops of EBT indicator. 2 to 3 drops of EBT indicator and 5 ml of buffer. So all these three taken in this conical flask. This is a conical flask. So in this conical flask you have to take 20 ml hot water sample. Given hot water you have to pipette out in this conical flask and you will add 2 to 3 drops of 
ABT indicator and next 5 ml buffer solution. So what is the color of the solution? Wine red. When titrate with EDTA from the burette drop wise. So in this case the color changes to wine red to blue. That is the end point. So theoretically the volume of EDTA consumed would be X ml in this step. Practically we are getting some value pi or 6 something. So in this theoretically the volume of EDTA consumed would be X ml. So in this case how can we calculate this uh, molarity of EDTA? What is the formula we are using here? M1 V1 equals M2 V2. So M1 V1 related to standard hard water. Standard hard water. M2 V2 related to EDTA. So here M1 means molarity of standard hard water. Already we know the concentration. What is the value? 0.01 M. Molarity of standard hard water. And V1 is the volume of standard hard water. V1 is volume of standard hard water. Its value is 20 ml. And next M2 is the molarity of EDTA. Molarity of EDTA. So we don't know this. We have to find out. So put the question mark. And V2 is the volume of EDTA. Its value is X ml. X ml. So what is the formula? M2 equals M1 V1 by V2. M2 equal M1 V1 by V2. So M1 value is 0.01 M. Molarity of standard hard water is 0.01 M. And V1 is the volume of hard water. Its value is 20 ml. And V2 is the theoretically volume of VT is X ml. So equal dash M. This is the this answer is the molarity of EDTA. So in this step 1, by using this procedure, we had calculated the standardization of EDTA, the molarity of EDTA. Coming to step 2, determination of total hardness. The hardness means there are two types of hardness, temporary hardness, permanent hardness. Temporary hardness means calcium magnesium ions of bicarbonates present in water. That hardness is considered as temporary hardness. Permanent hardness means calcium, magnesium ions, chlorides, sulfates, except bicarbonates. So this temporary plus permanent is called total hardness. So in this step 2, determination of total hardness. So how can we determine this total hardness? So in this case, first rinse the burette and clean its burette and fill the burette with EDTA solution. Fill the burette with EDTA solution and pipette out given water sample. In the step 1, already we know the molarity of hard water that is, that is the 0.01 M. But in the step 2, we don't know the molarity of hard water. The given hard water sample, we have to calculate the molarity of given water sample. After that, we can calculate the uh, perm uh, total hardness. So first we have to calculate the molarity of given water sample by using standard solution is here EDTA. So first we will fill it with EDTA solution and next you have to prepare out 20 ml hard water sample given water sample in the conical flask. In the conical flask. Next you will add 2 to 3 drops of EBT indicator. 2 to 3 drops of EBT Indicate in the same conical flask and also we'll add buffer solution, 5 ml buffer solution. So in this case, the color of the solution is same wine red color. When titrate with EDTA from the blue red drop wise in the conical flask, then color changes to wine red to blue. That is the end point. So repeat the titration same, we'll get same concurrent readings. So that is the final reading. So in this case, if the volume of ETA consumed be by ml, the volume of ETA consumed be by ml in this step two. In step one, x ml. In step two, y ml. So first, what is the formula? M two V two equals M three V three. So M two V two related to here EDTA. Already discussed first step also. M two V two related to EDTA. 
and your N three V three related to given water sample, given hot water or given water sample. So your M two means molarity of EDTA. Molarity of EDTA already find out in this step one. So its answer is step one theoretically. Okay, and V two is the volume of EDTA. So volume of EDTA is here by ml. Volume of EDTA is by ml. And next M three is the molarity of given water sample. Molarity of given water sample. So we don't know that. We have to calculate it. Put a question mark. And V three is the volume of sample water. So how much ml you have to put it out in this conical flask? Total twenty ml. So twenty ml given water sample you have to put it out in the conical flask. Then you will add two to three drops of EBT indicator and five ml buffer. So color of the solution in the conical flask is wine red. When titrate against EDTA from the burette, the color changes to wine red to blue. So the volume of EDTA consumed will be here by ml in this step two. So what is the formula here? M three equals M two V two by V three. M three equals M two V two by V three. So M three is the molarity of given water sample. We have to find out in this step two. So M two is the molarity of EDTA. Its value is step one value. What we'll get in practically. And V two V two is the volume of EDTA. So we by ml. And V three volume of hot water had to put out. Twenty ml. So, in this way to calculate the molarity of given water sample M three. And next, how can we determine total hardness? Total hardness equals M three into M three into hundred into thousand is equal dash ppm. So here M three means just we discussed already molarity of Given water sample and into hundred. Hundred means molecular weight of CaCO3. Molecular weight of CaCO3. Because we are taking here molecular weight of CaCO3. All hardness constants converted into CaCO3 equivalent terms. Because in this water, different different types of hardness constants salts present in this water. So when we are converting all these hardness constants in CaCO3 equivalent terms, because CaCO3 molecular weight is 100 and equivalent weight is 50 and it is highly insoluble in water so it makes calculation is very easy so that's why here we are taking 100 molecular weight of CaCO3 is equal 100 and total makeup solution is here 1 liter solution so it's equal dash ppm ppm are the units of hardness hardness measured in this parts per million So in this, we have to calculate the total hardness by using EDTA. And step three, determination of permanent hardness. In step one, standardization of EDTA. Step two, determination of total hardness. So now discuss determination of permanent hardness. So determination of only permanent hardness means we can remove temporary hardness. So, what are the salts? Temporary hardness causing salts: calcium, magnesium, bicarbonates cause temporary hardness. So, how can we remove this temporary hardness causing salts by boiling? We already discussed previous classes during boiling process. Calcium bicarbonates or magnesium bicarbonate present in this water. If in case calcium bicarbonate present in water, it converted to calcium carbonate insoluble precipitate. It can be removed by filtration. In the same way, in this process, we can determine the only permanent hardness. So we can remove temporary hardness same by boiling process only. So that purpose was we have to take hundred ml sample water. So in this uh, determination of permanent hardness purpose, we have to take hundred ml of water sample in two fifty ml beaker. Hundred ml water sample taken in two fifty ml beaker and boil it for. 10 to 15 minutes. So in this case, calcium bicarbonate or temporary hardness causing salts converted into insoluble precipitates. 
it can be removed by filtration method so after that remaining water make up 100 ml by using distilled water make up 100 ml by using or by adding distilled water so this make up solution have to pep it out 20 ml same procedure again 20 ml of this make up solution have to pep it out in the conical flask so in the conical flask we have to take 20 ml make up solution Pip it up and next two to three drops of EBT indicator and next same five ml buffer. So all this we taken in this conical flask. So this is the color of the solution is wine red. When titrate again is TDTA from the burette, the color changes to wine red to blue. That is the end point. So the uh, here the volume of TDTA consumed would be Z ml. So what is the formula here? We are using M two V two equals M four V four. M two V two equals M four V four. So M two V two related to EDTA. M four V four related to permanent hard water. Permanent hard water. So here M two is the molarity of edta so already find out in this step 1 step 1 so v2 is the volume of edta volume of edta so in this step 3 volume of edta value is z ml z ml and next m4 is the molarity of permanent hard water molarity of permanent hard water we have to find out so put the question mark And next V four is the molarity of given water sample. How much ml we have to pep it out here? Twenty ml. Twenty ml. Or given hard water sample or permanent hard water sample, we have to pep it out in conical flask. So what is the formula? M four equals M two V two by V four. M four equals M two V two by V four. So M two value is the step one value. And V two is volume of EDTA solution is Z ml, and V four is the volume of hot water sample. I have to pep it out only twenty ml, so it's equal dash m. M is the molarity, concentration units, molarity units. So in this, I have to calculate the molarity of permanent hard water. Can remove already temporary hard water. That's why it is called permanent hard water. So by using this one to calculate the Permanent hardness. So how can determine the permanent hardness? So permanent hardness is equal m4 into 100 into 1000. So m4 means molarity of permanent hard water. Just now we calculated in the step three. And 100 is the molecular weight of calcium carbonate. And 1000 is the total makeup solution 1000 ml. So it's equal dash ppm. Ppm is units of hardness. Now we will discuss temporary hardness. How can we determine the temporary hardness? So total hardness, temporary hardness equal total hardness. Already calculated in the step two minus permanent hardness. Calculate in this step three. It is equal dash ppm. So in this we have to calculate the or uh, can determine the hardness causing salt present in water. By using EDTA method, so EDTA it is also called. This method is also called as complexometric method. In this case, mainly used chemicals are EDTA, aerochrome black tea indicator. So when we are using this indicator, the color of the solution is wine red. After titration again, it's EDTA from the burette. The color changes to blue color. And here we are using buffer solution. Main in this method we are using buffer solution is the ammonium chloride and ammonium hydroxide buffer only because buffer main be used for to maintain stable pH. So here in this method stable pH range is eight to ten. So why are maintaining only this pH range because EDTA forms complex with hardness causing ions like calcium magnesium ions. So at this pH range only EDTA forms complex with Hardness causing ions. 
so that's why we are maintaining stable ph range 8 to 10 so that purpose we are using use chemicals ammonium chloride and ammonium hydroxide used as a buffer solution so this method is called complexometric method and edt also called as complexing agent so i hope understood all thank you like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates